You know, you brought up a topic, and I know it can be a sensitive topic for some, but you brought it up, and I want to talk about it for a minute. Mm, okay. Um, okay, so we, we've had multiple instances. My wife worked at the front counter for many years until our second child was born. And, you know, we have a female employee in the shop. And the number of people who came in I, I have literally had to get physical with people to get them out of my shop after they disrespected my wife. I had one man tell her that her place was in the kitchen and he didn't know why she was trying to talk to her about his car. I have had people who look at our apprentice, who I'm going to tell you right now, is every bit as talented as any guy in this shop and say, I don't want her working on my car. How, how do, what's your perspective of that? I know you're in a different market. Have you had to deal with it? And, and how do we fix that? I mean, what do you think about that? I mean, it's sort of like symptomatic of, of, you know, inequality everywhere. So it's, I can't remember the quote or the something. Um, I think it was something like, and this isn't what it was, but it was something along the lines of, you know, why do we have issues with domestic violence or whatever the case may be? Like something, you know, super extreme damaging to women. It's like, well, why don't we have any female presence? <laughs> why don't we have a, a shortage of, of, uh, of leadership? And it's just, it's all the same thing, which is just that we're not seeing those folks as equals. And until we see everybody as equals, we're always going to have that problem. Um, and so I think that, you know, it's education. I, I certainly uh, don't care if someone doesn't want me to fix their car. I mean, they just, they won't be my customer. That's fine. Um, right. Right. So, you know, whatever the, the market will, will, will solve that problem. Um, but you know, you, what you're trying to do is, is create an environment that is supportive for this person so that this person does feel like they belong there. And so then your responsibility <clears throat> as that shop owner is to just, you know, uh, try to make up for whatever that headwind is in that, um, in that person's path. And that's certainly, I mean, I've had, I've worked with the most amazing men. I've had just so much support. I would be where I was today if it wasn't for all those folks that, you know, were pushing me along and supporting me and saying good job and making me feel good about what I was doing. And so we just got to keep doing that. Um, I do think that the face Absolutely. of the industry has changed a ton, even in the last five years. I mean, you just go to Vision, there's so many women there. I mean, it's just, there's yep. uh, all sorts of you know, events you see, very mixed. Um, I certainly would like to see more people of color coming to these events. But um, anyway, it, it, we're getting there. We're making progress. It, I think you're part of the solution, Lucas, this is what I'm saying. Right. Well, and, and you know, I, I think that is is a perfect explanation because, you know, that that's how we've handled it. And, and, you know, what's funny about every one of the situations that we found ourselves in where something was said, you know, and, and we're in an old backwoods town, right? Um, every situation where something was said, the person they were talking about was far more qualified to handle the situation than even I was in a certain circumstance, right? Um, and at the end of the day, you know, in the situation where this person came in and said that to my wife, um, sorry, buddy, you're picking up your truck, right? You're leaving. It's time for you to go. And, and it defeated his entire, you know, purpose of what he thought was going to happen. He thought I was going to come in and handle the situation and smile and nod and fix his truck for him. No. No, I don't think so. You get in your truck and you leave and see you. Burn the road up. Um, well, I mean, it's kind of hard to burn the road up while you're pushing your truck out of my parking lot. But, um, you know, I, I think we we definitely, and, and, you know, there's so many different perspectives of this, but after you become a father, and, and you know, I, I, that's a big one for me because someone that treated my daughter like that, that would not be okay. And, you know, we look at our apprentices as, as part of our family. Um, David, I'm sure you feel the exact same way. If somebody said something like that to your daughter, I can only imagine the color your face would turn. 
Um, it would almost be like the Kansas City Chiefs winning the Super Bowl or something. Um, but, you know, I think it's so important that we embrace that change and we protect that change um, and continue to move forward. I think just speaking openly about it is a good, is, is healthy too. Right? Like, right. okay, we don't have a lot of women in our industry right now, and that's not okay. We're working on it. Like, I think just being open instead of trying to, like, sugarcoat it is, I think, is also really good. I think most people, it's just like we need younger people. We need different types of people. I mean, we, we, we acknowledge the, what, we, what we've been doing that hasn't been working, right? I think everyone's right. pretty comfortable now with, okay, this is, this is not sustainable, um, and now we're getting ready to sort of figure out where we need to go. Um, so anyway, it's, it's, it's fun to see the industry changing. It's fun to be a part of it. 